Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a little hair and makeup tutorial on this Valentine's Day look. Um, it's pretty bold. It's not like my previous Get Ready With Me video where I did a Valentine's Day inspired look. That one was a lot more natural than this one. This one I did want it to be a little bit more bold, a little bit more colorful, so that's what I did. I did add some falsies and I did pop some glitter on the eye and then I did show you guys how I curled my hair real quick. Um, super easy, super simple. So um, anyway, if you guys are interested in this makeup and hair look, then keep on watching. I'm gonna start by pulling my hair back. Um, I never really like to do my makeup with my hair all over the place. So starting off like this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin with the uh, Shea Moisture Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer. I already did my skincare, but I've really, really grown to like this product. It leaves my skin looking so glowy and so dewy, so... Okay, so I'm going to use two different foundations. These are both some of my two of my favorite foundations. Um, this is the Bourjois 123 Perfect, which you guys have seen me use in a previous video and this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation which again you've seen me use in a previous video. Um, normally I just use the Too Faced foundation but it is a little too dark for me right now so um, we are going to have to mix it with a lighter foundation. This one is way lighter and then I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender. I'm going to move on to concealer. So what are you guys planning for Valentine's Day? Last year, Gus and I didn't really do anything for Valentine's Day. And so this year, I kind of did want to do something. But we're probably just going to go out to dinner, but that's still better than nothing. <laughs> So the base is done, the brows are half done. I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I don't know what type of eye look I wanna do yet. I definitely want it to look different to what I did for one of my um, get ready with me's that happened to be Valentine's Day inspired. So I think I wanna do something a little bit more dramatic and smoky and a little bit more dark. So I'm not sure which palettes I'm gonna use or which palette I'm gonna use yet, but I do have two in mind. Um, I'm thinking my Modern Renaissance palette or my new nude palette from Huda Beauty, which I've already used in a couple of videos, so I'm kind of trying to steer clear of this one, but it's so nice. Um, if you are looking for a new palette, I highly recommend that one. It's super, super nice, but I think I'm just going to go with my Modern Renaissance palette. It looks so used and abused. Um, I think I might also use some of my ColourPop um, Shock, Super Shock Shadows um, because these are really, really nice. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to start off with the color Tempera, and I'm just going to use this to kind of set any concealer that I had on top. I just put raw sienna into the crease, um, and I'm just blending this in. It doesn't... I'm not, like, an expert, so... I'm not like super precise, but I figure that whatever mistakes I make in the shadow, I could just blend them. And also if I have big enough lashes, it'll cover the mistakes. Next I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take Venetian Red. And usually this isn't a color that I would use. It's a very um, pink fuchsia purple color. and. Those aren't colors that I typically use on my eyes all over the lid, but I'm gonna put this just all over the lid. I'm gonna leave this outer third of my eye kind of blank because I do wanna put a darker color in there. I'm gonna kind of soften the edges of that and add more color where I need it, but I don't wanna overwhelm my lid with all this color and then not be able to blend it out, so. And it's going to look a little weird because I'm not blending the outer third of my eye. Um, so it's still going to look a little harsh. But don't worry, it's going to come together. I promise. <laughs> J 
just to get the outer third kind of completed a little bit more i'm gonna take the color red ochre which is a much more red based color and i'm gonna just pat this into the outer third of my eye and start dragging it kind of over the crease and like the beginning part of the crease I think that's it for the eyeshadow right now I do want to add I do want to finish up my brows and then I'm gonna come back to the eyes um, so yeah I'm just gonna do my brows real quick the brows are done and I feel like it is coming together a little bit better I swear once we add the lashes we add a little bit of eyeliner the look will come together I'm gonna do a very very small line of eyeliner just to give some definition for when I apply the uh, false lashes so I'm gonna take my Kat Von D trooper um, liquid liner okay I don't know if I should do like a very very small wing but for my falsies I actually cust custom created this set of lashes I'm sorry I've already worn these before so they're kind of not the cutest right now but they're just outer corner lashes they're like half lashes basically and these are way easier to apply than normal strip lashes um, and I didn't want something super dramatic I just wanted something that kind of would elongate my eyes and make it look a little bit more cat eye so the lashes that I'm using are the kiss lashes in the style page boy and so what I did was I cut them in half and I stacked both halves on top of each other and I just created outer corner lashes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to apply some glue and then I'm going to let them sit for like a couple minutes and then I'm going to pop them on. The lashes are done and I'm very very happy with how the look is turning out. Um, I forgot that I did want to apply some sort of glitter to the eyes. So I'm going to look through my super shock shadows to see if I can find anything that I can pop on. Um, I think I already know which one I want to use though. So, Okay so the one I'm going to use is called birthday cake and this is so pretty. I'm just going to basically tap this onto my lid and hope I don't ruin the other eyeshadow that I applied. Um, so yeah. Oh, this was a good idea. So I'm basically just tapping this into the inner third of my eye, I want to say. looks good enough to me and for the bottom half of my um, eye I don't really like to apply eyeshadow underneath my eyes just because I feel like it really makes them look smaller but I do want to add um, some inner corner highlight and I guess I do want to add just a little bit of shadow because we have so much going on up top so I'm gonna take the color Vermeer and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eyes I forgot how intense this eyeshadow was it's so pretty oh my god okay and then I'm gonna take raw sienna and I'm gonna um, blend that underneath my lash line as you guys saw I did already powder my face I've already bronzed um, I'm gonna move on to blush and the blush I'm gonna use today is the Tarte Amazonian clay 12-hour blush in the color party and this is what it looks like it's just a very neutral no shimmer blush I have a lot going on with the eyes so I don't really want to apply more shimmer on my cheeks um, or more color
For a highlight today, I did want to try something different. I don't know if it's going to work or if I'm going to end up liking it, but I did want to use my Nicole Guerrero um, Glow Kit from Anastasia. I love this palette. I don't use it enough. It's really dusty. Um, but these... So I think I'm going to use Kitty Cat. And let me just swatch it because I don't remember what this looks like. Okay, it's more of like a champagne than I remember. All right, let's use Kitty Cat. Why not? All right, lips. I, I think I'm going to go with something more neutral. I'm going to use my tr good old trusty MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. This is my favorite, favorite lipstick to wear. <laughs> So I'm going to line my lips with this Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. This is a really dark berry lip liner and I really like this because it really does act like a contour for my lips and yeah, it makes them look, it's really easy to overline your lips with this, so. This is the I Love Sarai in ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip that she did with them. Um, I'm just going to take the tiniest amount and dot it in the center of my lips. Alright, so guys, that's it for the makeup. I'm going to move on to the hair because um, I definitely want to show you guys what I would do with my hair. It's looking like a mess. I did just wash it, so it's not going to have that much volume. I'm going to curl it using the Layla, Layla Milani... Um, curling wand thing um this i don't know what size barrel this is but i know i think it's like the middle one it's she has three sizes she has three sizes from what i can remember and this is the middle one so i'm just gonna curl my hair real quick we'll see how it comes out because i'm not the best at curling my hair so. <laughs> My hair looks so shiny and it actually looks a little bit more voluminous than I thought it was going to look. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I actually really like how my hair turned out. Um, I don't usually curl my hair, I usually always straighten it. The makeup, I love. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something similar to this on Valentine's Day, depending on what I wear. Um, but if you're wearing an all black outfit like I would normally do, then you could definitely add some color into your makeup look. The lashes are super comfortable to wear if you're not really an expert or you're not used to wearing false lashes like gluing them on like i am then i think half lashes are the way to go for you because they're so easy to apply and you don't have to worry so much about the inner corner sticking out and it's just it's a hot it can be a hot mess so i think that if you're a beginner at you know gluing on lashes half lashes are the way to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this little hair tutorial and makeup tutorial um, and if you guys did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video